What is up mortals, it is James Luther here and before we get into today's video there's a few things I'd like to say. Firstly, I'd like to thank the supporters on Patreon, your support means a lot to myself and the other members on this channel. A link to the Patreon is in the description below, as well as a link to the Discord group chat where you can talk to myself and other mortals like yourself. There's quite a few people in there already and it'd be awesome if you joined us. So, a quick position notice before we actually get into the video. I'm actually looking for writers and editors. We've still got two more writer positions opened and we've got four more editor positions opened. So if you'd like to check that out, join the Discord and DM me. It'd be awesome to show off your skills. Anyway, let's get into today's video. A few minutes after All Might announces his retirement, Endeavor asks him, what exactly does it mean to be the symbol of peace, All Might? All Might looks at Endeavor, wondering what exactly he means. Endeavor notices this and just continues. I had the most wins under my belt as a hero, even compared to you. I took on way more villains than you did. And even after all of this, you were still number one. It was always you. You were number one, and you were the one who inspired confidence in people. You're the one who deterred crime. And even if I was the one to defeat more villains, that didn't make a difference. So tell me, All Might, what does it mean to be the symbol of peace? All Might just looks at him and answers, Being the symbol of peace will be different for you, in Endeavor. As it was for me, there were plenty of strong heroes before I arrived. I came on the scene, and saw a society. I saw it needed a pillar. A pillar to support everyone. You could also call it a light. Before me, people looked up to their heroes, but the heroes had no one else to look up to. And I thought, I thought that was something the society needed. Somebody who could inspire even the strongest. The reason I never stopped smiling, he looks up to Endeavor and just smiles, is so I could inspire everyone. But to answer your question, he coughs for a few seconds. The symbol is someone who has inspired confidence even in the strongest of heroes. And he also has to be the one to defy every villain in his way. Whatever it takes, the most important thing in my opinion is to smile. He says this as that single tear goes down his cheek. To show you I won't lose. But you, as the next symbol of peace, you need to do it your way Endeavor. Endeavor looks at All Might just thinking to himself. All Might says, I'm sorry, I probably rumbled on there for a bit. I hope I made myself as clear as I could though. Endeavor turns to leave and says, You made yourself very clear, All Might. You've just given me a lot to think about. A few days later, everyone returns to class after finishing their internships. When Midori arrives at the school, he walks into class and sees everyone talking about their new internship and how the fight between All Might and All for One went. They all saw it on the news. All Might comes into class, and the class isn't used to seeing him in his deflated form. It takes a couple of moments for them to realize who it is. While they do this, All Might says, Get ready, everyone. We're doing hero fundamental training. To begin with, we'll be doing rescue training on Grand Gamma. Ida asks, Sir, why would we be going there? Wouldn't it be smarter to go to the unforeseen simulation joint? All Might says, Normally, yes. But this time, we're doing something a bit different. Everyone gets ready and they go to Grand Gamma. When they arrive there, they see All Might wearing a sweatshirt that looks a little bit like his uniform, but it was far more fitting to his deflated form. He then explains the exercise a bit better. You'll be split up into groups of five. You'll have to maneuver through the environment to reach a person in need. In this case, that is me. The person who saves me first is one who will win the exercise. Sue so says, so it's basically a race. All Might says a bit embarrassed. Yeah, a bit like a race. All Might tells the students that the first round will be Midoriya, Ida, Ojiro, Siro, and Ashido. So he tells them to get into position. He then goes and hides in the area. A few minutes later, all Might presses the button, and some speakers sound the noise, letting everyone know that the race has begun. Midoriya goes straight away into 10%, maneuvering through the environment very well and rather easily. Everyone looks at Midoriya, surprised at how he's restraining himself to not literally destroy the whole area. Bakugo realizes that Midoriya's movements are kind of imitating him, and he just looks at him in disgust. The exercise ends in 87 seconds. Midoriya won, with Seru almost reaching All Might in second place. Sarah, who's disappointed, says, Oh man, I lost. How's that even possible, though? This environment was made for me. Midoriya, what's going on with you these days? At the same time all this was going on, a video was making its way around the internet. The Stain video, inspiring the followers of Stain to join Shigaraki's organization. Meanwhile, in the bar, Shigaraki is recruiting some new recruits that were brought in by Jirain. After the rescue training race has finished, All Might asks to speak to Midoriya in private. Midoriya agrees and goes with him. All Might asks Midoriya, remember what I told you when I gave you my power? Midoriya says, eat this, while making All Might's face. 
All Might says, No, not that. I told you about the power being passed from generation to generation. I think it's time that you know the whole story. One for All came from a separate quirk called All for One, the ultimate symbol of evil. Just as One for All is supposed to be the ultimate symbol of good, I don't know the whole story, but from what I know, there was originally two brothers. One of them had the ability to give and take quirks. The other one was known to be quirkless. The older brother gave his younger brother a stockpiling quirk, so he would have a way to control him and give a use to his quirkless brother. Unbeknownst to him, his younger brother had the power to pass on his quirk, useless on its own, but together the quirks combined and it made what we know as today, which is one for all. Midori asks, what happened to the big brother? All Might answers, I defeated him once, a couple of days ago. He drowned in the river, finally dealt with for good. But the thing is, something far more sinister is happening now. His successor, Tomura Shigaraki, is my predecessor's grandson. I believe he now has the quirk known as All For One. And if I'm right, you are the only one who will have a chance at defeating him and the team he has been putting together, the League of Villains. Midoriya nods and tells All Might, As your successor, I will defeat the great evil, so you can rest easy, All Might. Midoriya has a look of just surety about himself. He's certain that he has to do this. Thank you, young Midoriya. A couple of weeks pass and the students now find themselves freaking out about the final exams. Everyone in class is worried about it. Ashido and Kaminari are probably the most worried, as they don't even study. Midori isn't very worried, he did pretty well on his midterms, and he's just wondering what they'll be doing for the practical portion of the exam. Midoriya, Achako, Ashui, and Todoroki, as well as Ida, go to the cafeteria for lunch. While they're having lunch, they discuss what they could be doing for the practical exam. Then Monomo arrives. I heard you guys face the hero killer. Wow, you guys must be just beacons for these bad guys. Monomo looks at Ida. Did you shit your pants when you faced them? Midoriya mutters, I think he did when he faced us. What was that? Are you agreeing with me? Kendo comes up from behind. And she just knocks him out. I'm sorry about that. He tends to go off the rails and needs to be put in check. I got distracted. I heard what you were saying. If it's about the practical exams, we will be facing robots like those in the entrance exam. A friend of mine is an upperclassman. She told me about it. The students start to relax, thinking, Robots are going to be easy. The next few days, the students are studying and practicing. Zoro, Kaminari, Ashido, Ojiro, and Jiro study with Yajiro. Kirishima studies with Bakugo, and Midoriya studies at home alone. Meanwhile, in the bar, not too far away, Shigaraki talks about his new army of villains. This is the strongest state that the League has been in, he thinks. They have all those villains from Tartarus, and those who were attracted by Stain. Kurigiri comes to speak to Shigaraki. There's a man of a prestigious organization called the Eight Precepts of Death. Who wants to speak with you, Tomura? Shall I arrange the meeting? Yes, since Masa's death, we've needed to organize ourselves better. The symbol of peace is gone. It's time for the darkness to reign, so we need to expand our organization. By the way, how is the other plan going? Is the preparations for the new headquarters underway? This place is getting quite crowded. I made contact with the old ally I told you about. As for the new headquarters, it should be ready in the next few days, just before the first phase of your plan starts. Good, keep me informed. Back at the school, the students were in their written exam. Once they finished writing, many people were happy with how they did. Those who studied with Yajirozu thanked her for helping them. The students then grabbed their uniforms and put them on, making their way to the building where they would all be doing their practical exam. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And as I always say, have an amazing day. Peace out, mortals. Also, quick note at the end part, I was a little bit sick towards the end. Um, yeah, so sorry about that bit. I may end up redoing this video at a later date. Peace out, mortals. Have an amazing day. Eyes in the sky. Gazing far into the night I raise my hand to the fire But it's no use Cause you can't stop it from shining through It's true, baby, let the light shine through If you believe it's true Baby, won't you let the light